Thompson with a free kick. Nelson attacks it, there's Collins! And that's the opening goal, ten minutes in. James Collins gets his second goal in a week for Hibernian. And it was pretty simple, straightforward football. Knocked on by Nelson and hand out player. Taiwo now. Scott Robertson. And overlapping is Maybury. There's Heffernan, and that's two. Just over an hour played. Paul Heffernan gets his second Hibs goal. And this front two of Collins and Heffernan is just beginning to find form. Alan Maybury, excellent overlapping run for the assist. Nakati's corner. Away by Boyd. Hearts continue the attack. Back it comes to McHatty. Good ball in, and there's Patterson to open the scoring. 24 minutes in, it's Callum Patterson with his second goal of the season. McHatty's ball in, and Patterson's volley. Only recorded two wins from the last 24 away games. Carey now. And launched. Comes the way of Britain. Good ball in from Britain and attacked by DeLeo. And Ross County have got the equaliser in the 89th minute. Melvin DeLeo, the Dutchman, with his first goal for the club. And that is how to attack a back post header. Hearts have held out for so long. To give that goal away will have hurt them. And Ross County aren't finished there. It's Glenn cut out, but it comes back for Gary Glenn. Now Carey and DeLeu sizes up his options. There's Richard Britton! to win the game for Ross County. There's barely even time for kickoff. What a ball in by DeLeo, and what a header by Britain. It's a good ball in. Vernon couldn't quite bring it under control. Nicky Lowe. Knocked on by Pollitt. Vernon! And there's the goal that Aberdeen have craved. Nine minutes from time, and it's Scott Vernon. And Inverness may be looking at their first defeat of the season. Scott Vernon with his first goal of the season. Just two changes for Neil Lennon from the trip to the San Siro against AC Milan. Is one of them, it's Timo Puki who scores on his first start for Celtic. He got a goal last weekend and he has done it again. Timo Puki, two goals in two Premiership matches. And Scott Brown. Stokes, who's dropped deep. Anthony Stokes looking to feed it through to Puki, and now Mulgrew, he finds the corner of the net. 26 minutes played, Celtic 2-0 up. Well, they dropped points on four occasions following Champions League matches last season, but they look safe here against St Johnson. Charlie Mulgrew with his second goal of the season. Here's Mackay. Miller, that's nicely done, and here's Stevie May, his shot blocked, back it comes to McLean. Dave Mackay, gets the ball back, nicely worked by St Johnson, there's Caddis, and St Johnson have got the goal back, nine minutes left to play, it's 2-1, Dave Mackay with the cross, bundled in, by Liam Caddis. Well, Mackay scored here two years ago when St Johnson won. It will be Aaron Muirhead. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And after 11 minutes, Partick Thistle lead against Kilmarnock. 
and it's the big central defender who scored from the spot against Hearts last month who strokes home the opening goal, it's his third penalty of the season Kilmarnock haven't offered too much going forward it's Ibrahim again Closey, good ball in for Chris Boyd and three minutes into the second half Boyd has the equaliser it's his third goal in six games this campaign and an excellent header as he was wheeling backwards did so well to direct it into the corner of the net and past Scott Fox